Hey there, I'm Tina C. for The L Stop, and I'm interviewing Amanda and Lauren from The Real L Word Season 3. Hello. This uh, is I'm Lauren Russell. Russell. This is Amanda Lee Dunn. From The Real Sorry. L Word 3. Yeah. I really appreciate you guys uh, taking the time with me today um, just to kind of chat about different things. Now you see me, now you don't. <laughs> Your jewelry line, right? Why don't, uh, you know, before we get into too much of the real L word stuff, why don't you tell me about that? Because you're doing some really good stuff with that. Yeah, um, it's actually a really exciting time because I have some, um, some really, I think, meaningful pieces coming out. You know, I have my charity bracelet, bracelets, but I have um, my equality ring that's coming out, um, which is already getting a lot of buzz. And I'm just like trying to get a lot of. A lot of good stuff out right there, right now. Um, and what's the website for your uh, jewelry line where people could go get that? So it's lion, L-Y-O-N, findjewelry.com. You didn't get to see any of the footage beforehand, right, or anything? No. Um, we see it like a day before you do. Okay. Well, at least you have a day to prepare, right? Yeah. <laughs> how do you feel about how you're being portrayed? Definitely like an experience. I mean, anytime you go into something and you're putting yourself out there for people to just sort of like, you cut it up into pieces and you do as you wish with it. And I mean, it's it's gonna like come across in a way that's like sped up or translated differently. And it's just like sort of what you go into it knowing, but sure. there's definitely also a part of you that like sees yourself in a different way. And sometimes you're like, what the fuck is wrong with that girl? Or like, who is that person? And like, you know, you definitely like, check yourself a little bit sometimes after, you know, after seeing certain things. But, I mean, obviously things are going to be exaggerated and whatever, but mm -hmm. I don't always believe everything you see on TV. Yeah, I actually am a really nice person and I actually love Lauren probably more than she loves me, so it's just a misconception. <laughs> no, I mean, we definitely have like a, we, it's like fun for us because we, do spend a lot of time together and we can like do a lot together and like, I don't know, like travel and work and just like sort of everything. And um, Have you ever been to LA before you started shooting? I have been to LA a few times, but never like for like, I like I would like dip in for a couple days and then sure. leave. Yeah. But I never really like, I don't know, I never really like hung out with a lot of people there and like went out and like yeah. the scene unless it was to like a boring event or something. Sure. So for me, it was just like a totally different experience. I like went out and visited Laura. How long was that? For like a week or two? Yeah. Yeah. Like for like a week or two. And then we decided, okay, I'm coming to move to LA, which was pretty spontaneous. Um, and what did you, you know, how was the transition for you? It's at first, it was like really fluid and like super easy. And then like after a little while, once start, things start to like set in and you start to get into like a routine, mm -hmm. it just sort of like, it's a little bit scary when you go from just knowing one thing for so long mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden it's completely different and sure. you're so far away from like everything that you know and like all the people that you know and like all your like patterns and it's, there's definitely, it's definitely like terrifying, but you know, there's an aspect to it that is like exciting and like fresh. And, it has its ups and downs. <laughs> so, um, you know, did you guys go into this knowing that you were both going to uh, be cast for the show together? I, well, you tell the story a lot. I got, um, I got notification that I was going to be on it as a main, you know, like two weeks before filming. Mm -hmm. And she had planned to move out just shortly before there, before that. And then I was like, well, I'll I don't have the same roommate anymore. My friend Amanda's coming. You guys gonna want to meet her because she'll obviously have to be on the show. Yeah. Um, and they loved her, uh, of course. So. Uh, this is probably inevitable. The relationship that occurs between the two of you. How do you, how do you feel about that? I mean, what is it like to kind of just watch yourselves go through it? Is it you know a little it's awkward? Sorry. It's hard to talk about because for us, you know, going into it, it was like we're friends and we're friends, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and we can't really say, it's hard to say anything else. Sorry. Guys! Because, you know, there's still a lot to be seen. Sure. Um, 
just know that it's a long time of filming. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> a little spot. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely say Lauren and I have been friends for so long. We've, been, we've known each other like forever, and through everything that we've ever, like ever gone through, we've gone through ex girlfriends. <laughs> So, yeah, and we're like always friends first, and you do have to remember that, you know, when we are running around and doing things and people are drinking and they're being dramatic and things are happening, everything is perception, mm -hmm. and, you know, we are very, like, um, we're, like, super lighthearted and we, like, have a lot of love for each other, and at the end of the day, like, we're always going to be like that, whether we're looking up with each other or like being best friends through relationships with other people like you know where it's not ever gonna like get in the way of that sure sure i i like saying this because i really believe but at the end of the show people will be really happy with it i think at least for our stories like i think um it's it's gonna be fun to watch so i'd say stay tuned in because there's some good stuff coming. <laughs> Scary. And, and I love this this season. There's a lot of humor. Mm -hmm. I didn't see in last season, which I love. Um, this next episode next week is really funny at the end. <laughs> <laughs> just at the end. <laughs> so just kind of watching things devolve and, you know, um, you know, seeing it come out months after all this kind of happened. Um, it is weird, especially like when you go through things that are like emotional and like dramatic or mm -hmm. like somebody fucks up and does something obnoxious and stupid and right. that's it. <laughs> um, you definitely, it's hard to like have that argument and get through that and then have to relive it again and be like, you're an asshole. You know what I mean? Like it just sucks. Yeah, yeah. And, sure. You know, I guess it just like comes with it and it's, it's interesting. <laughs> And you forget things, which also sucks. Sure. I hate Like when you're out and running around and say something or do something or you're joking about something, mm -hmm. and you don't regret it, and next thing you know, the oh. world is just analyzing it. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys didn't know anybody else um, coming into this, did you? Anybody yeah. else? Okay. Uh, I actually knew a few. I mean, I knew Whitney. But we weren't like as close as we are now. Um, I'd never met Sada actually. Um, I'd met Romy a few times, um, which she claims we have never heard. <laughs> <laughs> has so much to say about me. <laughs> um, and then, you know, I had a thing with Kelsey for a bit, like hey. just to, we're friends. We're friends about this sort of thing. <laughs> we're friends. One of my favorite words. Mostly friends. Mm -hmm. and a little thing. Mostly friends and somewhat benefits. Some benefits <laughs> once in a while. Um, and I, and you knew Rachel. And Rachel, yeah, I knew Rachel from New York. She right. Used to, uh, used to go to her salon here, Annalena. Okay. Annalena. Annalena. <laughs> um, I knew Kiyomi and Laura. Okay. Like, well, but I knew them. You like met them. I'd like met them a couple times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what are some of your first impressions? It's, I mean, I think that the vibe of people is really different. Mm -hmm. I think the vibe is like a lot happier in LA. Okay. Uh, it's a lot more like peach and sun and, you know, and I feel like there's like a, there's a closeness to the, the gay community in LA that does not exist in, in New York. Hmm. There's like very much like a, I mean, it's very clicky in LA, but mm -hmm. there's definitely like a, there's a community. Like West Hollywood is like a giant community of gay people. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's it's like it's awesome. It's very gay. Yes. Yeah, super gay. But well, that's what like, I love about LA. It's like it's West Hollywood's actually the gayest place on earth. It's like <laughs> it's like you just go there and you're like, oh you're like I am rainbow shooting out of <laughs> But no, New York, there's definitely like an I, I guess it would probably be newer, like the lesbian scene in Williamsburg. Mm -hmm. is really, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, and it's... I mean, there's I, always lesbians in Brooklyn. <laughs> like, um, it's like grouped down. Like, there's like the New York lesbian, like the city lesbians. Mm -hmm. Like, um, 
and they hang out at like the maritime and then there's like the land for right. lesbians who hang out in like the woods and like metropolitan it's like very like west hollywood it's like everybody if you have a penis or a vagina as long as you are gay you're going to be happy yeah <laughs> true a lot of people are like oh yeah right like the like yeah, half the no, cast is go to one place but it's but that it's would like happen that. like that's true that happens that happens, that happens. Like, so. Go and you like you don't even have to call anybody. You're just like okay, well we're either gonna go to like this place on this night or we're going to the Abbey. Yeah. And you won't have half the people that you hang out with. Like you just. Like, so it's like it seems unrealistic, but it's it is. I mean, how it is. Do you have any appearances that you're gonna be making? You're gonna dance your ass off from 9 p.m. until 2 a.m. at the House of Darion Media Center on the 18th of August. In Texas. We had. Oh. <laughs> uh, we'll be there with Whitney and Sada. Uh, so the four of us will be there. And then, of course, Shedonism in Vegas. Yeah. September 6th. That'll be fun. And I think a lot of the cast will be there. Terrific. Again, thank you so much for taking the time with me thank today. Thank you. Oh, and Thanks. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Right. Bye. Bye.